Hello, and welcome to another episode of the In Between Podcast with your host, Kyle McLemore. Let's go ahead and get it started. Hello, and welcome to another episode with your host, Kyle McLemore. It's good to see you. Thank you for joining. Be sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, smash that bell right there. Uh... It's getting old, but it does help when you subscribe. It helps when you comment. Thank you so much for being here at the beginning. I've leveled out. I've leveled out the levels. I've turned down looking much better. I can go loud and low, and it shouldn't be blasting this time. I can already tell the levels are much better. So, boom, that's already an improvement on the in-between podcast. Spam, nothing like getting hit up with spam to interrupt the podcast. That's cool, too. We're figuring it out. Here we go. Let's get into it. Uh, what did I want to talk about? Oh, I wanted to talk about my future theme song for this podcast. I'm going to start switching it up. and I try to change it up every episode of like every podcast just because I have so many... Because I have so many licenses things available in when I edit, so it's cool to try out different music and different songs for each episode, but I think for the next one, I'm going to start going more Western, kind of cinematic, because I've had the, I've been watching the new Boba Fett show, and I've had the theme song stuck in my head. At first, I wasn't into it, but now I'm really into it. it uh, oh, it's good. Boom, ba da da dum No, no, it starts with just like a, guy, like a bunch of guys just going, hey! Uh, that's pretty cool. Don't have to get that for this podcast. Um, yeah, the Boba Fett thing is pretty cool. The Boba Fett thing is pretty cool. Um, not bad. It's a really dark show, and I don't mean, I don't mean like the story is dark. I mean like it's visibly like really dark, and like uh, for whatever reason, the. TV I have right now, it's, like, really dark already. So anytime it's, like, a nighttime scene, it's, like, basically I'm just watching a black screen. And I'm just, like, I can kind of see. I have to go by their voices on to try to imagine what's happening. It's like watching old school radio just sitting next to my TV, like, oh, listening to the... Pew, pew. pew. Um, but yeah, Boba, Fett, Boba Fett's been cool. It's mostly, yeah, that, that theme song. I need to get it on to this podcast. I'm just going to replay my own audio at the end of this podcast for the outro. Um, I've also been watching uh, Peacemaker Peacemaker on HBO Max with John Zena? No, John Cena, uh, who I always root for John Cena. I've always had the vibe that he was a pretty cool dude. Uh, I know that he like holds the record for like most uh, most not like charity, but like what's the Make a Wish thing? Like he's like a huge Make a Wish dude. Uh, always visiting sick kids and stuff, and like just seems like a pretty nice guy. And then he's also like pretty charismatic and like hard not to like. He seems like he's like. Also pretty funny, too, but it doesn't seem like you get some window to be funny that often. So it's always cool to see him kind of break through and get to do other stuff other than wrestling. Because I feel like it's always almost like double or even triple hard for him. Because it's like breaking out of the wrestling world into like mainstream like movies and TV shows is probably pretty tough. Because uh, the only person who really comes to mind who's ever done it is like The Rock. Everyone else is like... A very straight to straight to DVD kind of career, um, but The Rock was able to break through and be like crazy successful, and so now it's like I feel like hard for somebody like John Cena who's like trying to break through, and is like just as charismatic and cool as The Rock, I think, but then it's also like trying to break through, which is already hard, and then you already have like double hard because everyone's like, oh, what do you think you're the fucking Rock, John Cena? You think you're the Rock? With your giant, he does have a fucking melon, dude. He's got like a giant square head. I think it's his jaw, too. He's got like a very square jaw. 
but he's cool. And then like, yeah, Peacemaker, uh, it's like a spinoff show from the Suicide Squad. Spoiler alert. Uh, in the movie, he gets like shot and is like, I thought he was dead, but he comes back and they're just like, yeah, you got shot, but you're good. It went through you and you're like, you're fine. <laughs> um, and like, yeah, it's like, it's like a pretty funny show. Actually, it's not bad. It's pretty funny. And like I said, John Cena is very cool. He's also like got that thing where it's like hard not to like him. He's just like, I don't know, like that Chris Pratt kind of is funny, but then he's also like likable. And then his character is also like, what's the word? His character is also kind of like sad, which makes it hard not to root for him. You know what I mean? Like his character is like, doesn't have friends and that kind of vibe. So it's just like, you just feel really sad for this guy. Um, but yeah, Peacemaker, cool. Boba Fett, cool as well. I think they're both like about that the same spot. I think Boba just had the fourth episode, and I think Peacemaker's on four too. I haven't seen it yet, but I'll probably watch it. You know what? I'm secretly, I'm going to call it out right now. I'm really hoping because I watched Suicide Squad again recently, and I mean, you see Nathan, spoiler alert again, Nathan Fillion is in it. I'm a huge Nathan Fillion fan. He's awesome, but he plays like the the dismember kid or the dnk or something where his arms pop out and they just go off um you definitely see his arms getting shot up and you definitely see him on the ground bleeding a lot but there's no like it doesn't say like dead like confirmed death so i'm hoping that nathan fillion shows up in peacemaker that would be awesome uh because i'm a huge nathan fillion fan so calling it out hopefully he shows up i doubt it but you never know there's a lot of people from the Suicide Squad that are in the show, which is kind of cool. Like, all the computer people. It's that really tall, nerdy dude from Sarah Silverman show, who I'm also a huge fan of. Huge fan, but don't know the dude's name. But he was, like, friends with Brian Posehn on the show. Um, yeah, that dude's super cool, and he's great on the show. Yeah, so I'll keep watching it. It's just, like, in my head all the time. Um... What was the other thing I was going to bring up? Uh, oh, yeah. the uh, Been looking at the news for the Super Bowl halftime show. Super Bowl, by the way, I'm going to call it out as Bucks versus Packers. I think that's possible. Are the Bucks in the NFC? If it's possible, if I don't have it mixed up, Bucks versus Packers. I hope I don't sound stupid, but I'm calling it. That's the Super Bowl. Um, but at the halftime show, I've been reading about the news. Um, who's going to be there? I had it queued up, and now it's not ready, which is awesome. Um, so far, it's Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. Which is already like pretty jam-packed with cool people, and I'm sure there'll be a few surprises and it seems to be like a very uh west coast california vibe i mean it is in la after all it definitely made sense the super bowl is going to be in la stadium which is cool uh going to be probably gnarly traffic over there i won't be over there so it won't matter but still ah oh, man it would be cool to go though man mm, maybe i'll go I mean, there would probably be stuff going around around it, right? Like, it'd be cool to just be in the city. Uh, they'll have it. I mean, if they do win, it would be cool to be in that celebratory environment. Well, it could be cool content, too. Take the GoPro. I might have to, uh, might have to noodle with this idea. This is interesting. Um, but, yeah, it looks like a cool halftime show. Um, yeah, Snoop Dogg, Eminem. We'll see. I'm actually kind of thinking about that. Just going to L.A. I do like L.A. Get there super duper early and just be walking around. I don't know. That sounds kind of cool. I might have to talk to some peeps about this. Um, but yeah, we'll call it a podcast right there. A bum, hora, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, lots of uh, singing in this episode. So sorry about that. But thank you for tuning in. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. It helps out the podcast. Thank you so much. Tune in next week and we'll have more for you. Uh, this has been Kyle McLemore with the In Between Podcast. 
See you next time. Hold on.